Thanks for that. I really wanted your snot all over me. I'm back. Don't worry. <laughs> Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome, welcome to today's vlog. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I have been sick the past um, like weekend here. I had a bad case of food poisoning and not only did I, but so did Mike. So it's been kind of challenging dealing with the farm and taking care of everybody with being sick, both of us. So, we actually had to have someone come and feed our pets for us one of the nights because we just couldn't do it. So here I am, that's why I haven't posted in a good week. This is the longest I've ever not posted since having my channel and I've missed it. But that's why I'm inside on my couch right now because I'm not feeling the best, but I really wanted to film a video and get a video out to you guys. But I'm not gonna lie, I do not feel that great right now. I need to just be sitting a lot. Um, I put on some makeup to feel a little bit better. Um, but definitely standing up makes me feel really nauseous and sick. So I don't know how fun this video will be, but I do have some updates and stuff um, that I wanna just update you guys on. First thing being that I've seen you guys have noticed that the quality of my videos are different in the last couple videos. And a lot of you guys have said it's better and if I got a new camera or something like that. But lo and behold, my camera actually broke when we were doing the Dutch doors. Something happened to it. It broke, it doesn't work. So I've been actually filming on Mike's iPhone because he has like the newest iPhone and he has cinematic mode. So that's why everything is blurred behind me. I think the quality is really great. So I've been having fun um, filming on the iPhone, but it's a little bit different for me. So yeah, I'm filming on an iPhone and it works. I will get a new camera soon. I just don't know what I want exactly. But yeah, so that's where I'm at, filming on an iPhone, but it's been fun. So sorry for that lengthy intro, but I just wanted you to know when my spirits probably won't be too high in this video and what's been going on and why I haven't posted in like over a week. So if you guys are excited for today's vlog, then make sure you're gonna give this video a big thumbs up and just give it a big thumbs up because I'm trying here, you guys. I don't feel good. I'm posting a video for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, I have a chance for my post notification. Shout out, are you guys? Let's get right into this vlog. So it's actually raining right now. So we're inside the house. Like I said, I've been sick. I've been stuck inside this house for about 48 hours. I honestly have not stepped foot outside pretty much in the last 48 hours. So it's been boring but it is raining outside so we're gonna just continue this vlog inside for just a little bit but for the first time in like 48 hours i do want to step outside with you guys and go and vlog outside but i want to show you guys that i've been getting into the spirit of fall really early on this year yes i know it's august not even like close to september well it's kind of close to september we got about 10 days or so but I wanna show you some of my fall decorations inside my house really quick. So first I got my vase right here with all my little fall florals. And it wouldn't be my house if there weren't pieces of the floral plant on the floor being chewed off by the dogs. And then all of my fall pillows are out. So I've got my little pillow right here with pumpkins on it and just the colors of fall. Then I have the same, just a bunch of different pillows. And then this cute little pumpkin pillow and then again, same fall stuff, pillows going on. And then right here on this shelf, I know I haven't given you guys like a full home tour. So if you've seen some of this stuff, it'll probably just because you've seen it in the background of me filming, but I added pumpkins here, here, some florals. I changed out the greenery of the florals in this one and put more fall florals in there. Same thing with here, added a little pumpkin. Not fully sure what I'm doing right here. So it's very random, I haven't finished. I got sick in the midst of doing all of this, so it's taken a subtle break, but I just have this big bowl of cute pumpkins, and look how cute and precious these tiny little pumpkins are. Stop, Lexi. That is not a treat for you. So cute. Tiny little pumpkin. I love it. Lexi is going to think this is a treat for her. Not good. Leave it. <laughs> so this is in the kitchen here by... The stove, not too exciting. And then I have this right here and our stock of Gatorade. This is what we've been drinking to stay hydrated through the sickness. Then I have like this garland here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this picture here. I saw it and I thought it was really cute. I just don't know where it's gonna go. 
I ran out of garland for right there. I have one on order pickup waiting for me, but obviously I've been sick, so I can't go and get it. But I think this is gonna look really cute. I like to keep this area kind of plain, but I think that'll look cute. And I have two scarecrows outside the front of my house, and this scarecrow keeps scaring me because I keep thinking it's like a human person right there. I really like this little foyer table right here because it's just completed. So I think this little area is so cute, but my favorite part, you guys, you have to see how cute this is. You guys probably know what these are, but I saw these at the Michael's Craft Store and thought they were so cute. They're a literal mini like hay bale squares, and I love that they have metal ties on them. I just think it's so cute. Check it out. They do make a mess though, but it's just a little square bale of like hay straw but I think it's so adorable. So I just had to buy that and put that right there. I just think that's so cute. And then for my kitchen table, this is kind of where we left off because this was in the midst. We got sick probably like three hours after doing this. So we are making a pumpkin. I should call it like a jack-o'-lantern arch because I'm gonna put lights in all of these. So we've been carving these pumpkins. Yes, Mike and I are having a fun little DIY project here, carving that pumpkin and all of these pumpkins, I should say. And then this one I'm turning into like a vase. So I had to cut a hole in it and I put a cup in it. So I'm excited to feel 100% to get working back on this because it's been really fun until I got sick. So we've been just cutting and carving fake pumpkins for a while. And then I have this pumpkin that lights up. So it's been fun, but this is basically what shows like where we stopped when we got sick but I did put this table runner down and then I have this cute little assortment of pumpkins. I do need to just change out this little floral thing right here. This is what I keep on like year round, but I need to change it out to something more fall like. And then last but not least, I really like this, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. It's very simple, but I do like simple. I just have all these little pumpkins on the top of my mantle here. And then obviously the fireplace is electric. So it has this cool setting where you can make it look like purple. I think it just adds to it. So yeah, that's it for my fall decorating. I know I started pretty early since it's literally like August 22nd or something like that. I've lost track of the days now because I've been literally laying in bed. But yeah, I thought that it was time to just start a little early. I love like this holiday season going from like fall time to winter, Christmas, all that's like my favorite time. So figure do it early so that I can enjoy it for a lot longer. So yeah, that's my little holiday decorations. I know I haven't done like a house tour um, in this house yet. Let me know if you guys want me to do a house tour. I've done a property tour. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you go check that out. It's on my channel. But if you guys want a whole house tour and if you guys are interested in that, you'll need to just let me know in the comments down below and I can see if we can do something like that for you. So I'm outside. It actually feels really good outside because it just rained. But really quickly, I wanted to show you the last, last bit of my fall decorations and then I'm gonna walk to the barn just because I forgot about these. So like I said, we are doing a pumpkin jack-o'-lantern arch. So here's a bunch of my pumpkins and the rest of my pumpkins. So yeah, I don't know when we're gonna get to these. Hopefully I'll feel better soon to be able to get to these. I'm very excited about this. Okay, so now that you've seen all my fall decorations, it just feels so good to be outside, honestly. It just makes you feel better, oddly enough. There's the other sickie right there. <laughs> ah. And look at this cute boy. Adding to the fall <laughs> decorations. How cute are you? Hi, Mishka, I haven't seen you in a couple days. I'm back, don't worry. <laughs> He's like, hi, mom. That was so cute. Hello, chicken. Hi, Mishka. You are so cute. Doop, 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 doop. Will you be nice to me? <laughs> okay, he said no, mom. Okay, moving on. I haven't been out here in a bit. I haven't been able to clean stalls in a couple days, but trigger stall is always really nice. Hi. Like I said, we had someone feed our pets, but I didn't want to give them the task of also cleaning stalls. So it's gonna be fun might attempt to clean some stalls here in a minute. Really getting bold and courageous. On my community post that I put up, telling you guys that I was sick and you guys wouldn't see a video from me, it was a picture of Dinky 
and Willie. And a lot of you guys were asking what happened to Dinky's eye. But you guys might not remember, but last year, Dinky had a summer sore on this eye that we recovered all throughout the winter. And then this year, so it's kind of graphic, you guys. So you may not want to see it. So it's blurred right now, but I'm gonna unblur it for you guys. So this is what it looks like. It's not bloody or anything like that. It's trying to heal, but it's kind of like a large lump right now. We're actually taking her to a different vet this week to try to get um, a different type of cure for it because this one has been really hard for us this year, but it is scabbing over. It's just that big lump right there that we're having a hard time with, but it is a summer sore. They're very, very tricky. So we're gonna try to get that figured out. Hi, babies. Hi, Louie. Louie, were you a good boy the past couple of days? Hi, Bubba's. Aw, oh, did you miss me? Did you miss me? And my pigs! Hi, babies! I know you guys missed me. Hi, piggies. Come on up here. Chippy. Hi, Pookie. Hi, Pookie. Thanks for that. I really wanted your snot all over me. Chippy. Uh-oh. Yay, dinner time. Happy pigs, look at their tails. Happy pigs. Hi, you two. Come here. This is chicken. Does it go me? No, not you. You guys can kind of see our gutters working. Oh my gosh, look at that tiny little pond <laughs> that the gutter has created from all the rain. Hey, though. Hi, June. That means that the gutter was working. That's awesome. Hi, Junie. Not gonna lie, I was scared a little bit for the person that was feeding our pets just because our routine is so crazy. I literally put on my Instagram, and I'm gonna pop it up right here, the long list of what I was trying to explain to them of how to feed our pets. And I was a little bit nervous because all of my animals have really big personalities and, and it can get pretty chaotic during the feeding process, but all was well. All my animals were good. Hi, Blaze. You got a little dirt on your face. You guys wanna come in? All right, let's get these horses in because I really miss them. But before, I need to get these guys out of the stall so I can let Blaze in. Mike, you want to do the honors? I don't have enough energy to fight with goats and a donkey. Come on. Cash, help push them out. Go, go, go. Get out. <laughs> this is not working. <laughs> Look at mini Mike trying to hide behind me. If the donkey goes, the goats will go, I think. Okay. <laughs> that worked out too well. Go, Minnie. It's not time to play around like that. Bye. Doink. See ya. Look, she's like, no. Okay. So, I need to clean this star really quick. And I really don't want to. But, these are the joys of being sick and still having animals that you take care of. It all comes with the job. So, I gotta muck this star really quick. Hopefully I don't get too exhausted, but we're gonna try it. Okay, so I just finished this stall. Really need to get new shavings just because they're looking kind of dirty, but like I said, we've been really sick and stuck in the house. So we haven't. Mike actually just wasn't feeling well, so he went back inside. But I'm very exhausted from just doing one stall. But I'm glad it's done. June's is done, so I can bring in June and Blaze now.
figure out, no, 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 you need to stay. The mayor needs to leave. So you guys did just see me in the barn and now I'm in the car because again, things that happen when you're sick and it doesn't matter when you have animals is that unfortunately we are out of grain and we haven't been in our barn enough in the last couple days to really realize that. So we have to run to church but luckily it's only about like five to seven minutes from my house. Very grateful for that. But we are making to us a long trek to the store to go get some grain. Not even gonna get a lot, probably literally just gonna get like one or two bags because I'm trying to get in and get out and get home just in case we start to not feel good again. So, yeah. Made it to tractor supply. Mike's gonna go in and grab the feed for us. We are back. We got two bags of feed, like I said, really in and out. It's getting really dark. I've been doing this for far too long than I've wanted to tonight now. I thought this was gonna be a quick, easy night feeding. But you know what? You just gotta make it as long as possible when you're sick, right? <laughs> so, I'm just gonna get these horses fed really quick. Might need to put down the camera so I can do this as quick as I can. I'm starting to not feel that great. I'm starting to get a little nauseous. Barn is done, blew it out, made it look the best we possibly could. I cleaned all the stalls to my best ability for tonight. I'm giving us a lot of leeway though because we are not feeling the best. So it's time to get back inside and end this day. <laughs> Alright you guys, well that is it for this sick vlog. If you guys like today's video, if you guys like this little update video, make sure you go and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance to my post notification shout out. Today's shout out goes to... All right, you guys. We love you and we'll see you in the next one.